we meet again. <laughs> it's exactly a month later since Groove Cruise, you guys. Um, I have decided to vlog this weekend because it's a very exciting weekend. I'm going to Houston. I'm literally about to leave right now. I just like took a half day off of work. Um, I'm going to Houston to go visit my friends Alex and Jenny. Um, they came and visited me back in November. We went to Ellis Dream, had like a girlies weekend. Um, I'm going to Houston. I've never done a weekend in Houston. I've always gone to like Freaky Deaky, Something Wicked, which is like outside of Houston. But I figured why not go visit them? Jenny's lived there I think all her life and then Alex just recently moved there. I met them through social media, coaching, spiritual girlies, all of that and they've become really dear friends of mine. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and this is also a special occasion because I'm seeing excision. <laughs> no, I'm not being kidnapped, but I am willingly going to an excision show. He's actually playing in Austin tonight. There's a big Austin rave weekend and I'm just like, bye. So yeah, I'm gonna go visit them. We're seeing excision tomorrow. And tonight we're actually going to Bauhaus. Um, Leighton Giordani's playing. I've heard so many good things about Bauhaus. So I'm really excited to check out that venue finally. And yeah, I've just never really, experienced a weekend in Houston so I'm just really excited for it. Life little updates I feel like I'm in a really good place. After Groove Cruise like my cup has just been so full to be honest that I haven't gone to any music stuff. I did have some things happen that I can't quite share just yet um, that were just like I have to laugh at this point but I feel really good. It's a full moon weekend. I feel like I have this chapter, this cycle of my life closing that actually started at the beginning of 2020. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good energy. I'm feeling at peace. I'm feeling at ease. I went to a woman's circle last night, which was really great. And yeah, it's just like, I feel really, really good right now. And I'm excited to go to Houston. I feel like this is gonna be a nice little getaway reset. Um, and I feel like things are finally starting to like kind of calm down <laughs> and I feel really good about it and yeah, there's like so much more detail to it, but um, I feel like this is a really good weekend for me to just get away and really call in, you know, who I'm stepping into, what this next chapter looks like because yeah, the significance of this time period, this time four years ago is kind of like repeating again. Um, which is very interesting. So I'm just going to bring you guys along with me, take you guys along my weekend in Houston. It's going to be a good time. Um, I need to go get my tires checked somewhere and then we'll be on the road. <laughs> There's so much good new music out today. It is February 23rd. I'm going to be updating my playlist. Definitely go to my Spotify. So good. We have a friend. Meow. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready for dinner. We're gonna come back and get ready ready for the show tonight, but just doing a little makeup. Okay, I gotta try this. That's a tough story. Every game's so a tough one, for sure. Like, that's actually- Fit check. Got the joggers. Here's the handy bodysuit.
y'all. <laughs> we'll have a debrief. <laughs> Happy excision day. Happy rave day, you guys. Coming at you from my air mattress. Which I slept pretty good on, honestly. I feel like I slept pretty good. My Bauhaus review. <laughs> Are boys okay these days? <laughs> I have never been approached so much at a, at a club, ever, ever. Um, and not like coming from a cocky way, like literally that's how it felt. Like me and my girlfriends were just like in this like shark tank. <laughs> and the boys were just like swimming around us, you know what I mean? Um, I think Bauhaus is a really cool venue. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's a two-story building. So there's like a first floor, second floor. You walk in on the first floor. They had music downstairs. They have an outside patio, which is nice. I had heard so many things about it being like um, hot and sweaty, but it was like perfect temperature all night. Um, we go upstairs and Lola is playing. She actually plays in Austin a lot. Uh, she played like house into techno and then late in i don't know how long he ended up playing he went on at 1 a.m which hello <laughs> apparently that place stays open pretty late but he started out with like house i don't know if he ended up switching into techno but we we left before then we left at like two um and mainly because like it was just a crowd honestly um i really liked the sound, the production, there was so much disco balls, like the music was all good. It just got to a point in the night where we were like, all right, we gotta go. But um, they have food there, which is really cool. I didn't get any food, but um, Kylie did in our group. She got these like burger sliders things and these french fries and she started eating them. And like, we were all as like the girlies just like munching like on her food. And this guy comes over and like tries to grab a french fry off of her plate and we all just were like what are you doing <laughs> and like she hands him a french fry and we were all like all right it's time to go literally time to go but there were some cool people like there were some people that like i feel like i would see at size bank or concourse but then there were some people that like literally had no idea what they were listening to or like they just came because it ends at 2 a.m. or like there's guys that they're sort of like drinking way too much you know like there was a guy that approached me it just like jump scared me out of nowhere he was like all the way across the dance floor I wasn't like looking at him but like I don't know I just like spotted him because he was in a white shirt and it was like a techno show you know and like 20 minutes later I'm he's like jump scared me <laughs> and he was like do you got a man <laughs> and I was like I'm single, but I'm with the girls tonight. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> there was these two guys so that were just like vibing out and we were kind of near them all night. Like they were, they were homies and they were respectful and they were nice. And like, that's why I'm like, are our boys okay? Because maybe it's the full moon. There was just a feral energy, feral horny energy in the air last night. And people were just like acting up. <laughs> And it's like one of those things where it's like if you accidentally look at something like make eye contact for just one second too long That guy thinks that you want to talk to them. It's like no <laughs> Like I'm just I'm just trying to vibe So anyway, I'm sure it depends on the artist that you see at Bauhaus But honestly going to different venues outside of Austin makes me so grateful for I guess our scene and like our community because anytime I go to concourse or even higher ground or like even superstition like I don't know if it's just a different thing like yeah there's kind of like skeezy guys like everywhere but like I don't know anytime I go to concourse like I never have any issues like guys are so respectful there and like yeah it also could depend on the show and stuff but Today is excision. I actually had a dream that we missed the excision show, <laughs> but it was like we were in a different city and like very weird dream. But today we're doing like a girly pop day. We're gonna go, where are we going? 
I don't know where we're going. We're going to brunch and then we're going to go do some like girly things. It's also a full moon today. So we might do like some spiritual things and then we're doing excision and I think we're trying to get there around like 9, 9.30. They're going to post set times, but um, so we're switching up the vibes. <laughs> it was so funny. I took all the girls to their first little what I thought was going to be a little techno set, but it was house and maybe late and eventually played techno, but Lola played techno. So it was fun for the vibes. I can cross off Bauhaus now off of like, I have like, a, I feel like I have a venue bucket list of venues I need to check out. And I feel like I'm slowly making my way through it. There's still like a couple in the U S that I feel like I still want to check out, but for the most part, that was really good. Also, you guys, we have to talk about this lineup renegade is it renegade fest hold on in denver i am like so close to potentially sending it regenerate it's june, june 7th and 8th literally me in a lineup like we got agents of time ben bomer cassian disco lines eli fur eric pritch gorgon city i'm reading the whole lineup john summit casablanca leighton giordani mian Purple Disco Machine, Curion, Torn Foot, my girl Sunrisas, who are like um, local to Denver and Austin, little duo they're playing. Like, I had a friend from Groove Crew send it to me, and I'm like, maybe. I haven't I haven't planned past May, but Denver. I always love going to Denver. That is where we're at. We're gonna start getting ready for brunch here shortly. On the Queen Jenny, thank of you. Course, of course, of course. I'm so excited. Dude, why? They're literally so stupid. Okay. He was a good macho. Why'd they give you We're ready to eat. Jenny's having her little dance. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what's happening for sure. So basically, I think it's like you have like a choice, and so you want to keep. Or like, forget. I literally sent her a voice memo about this. Still. Yeah, if you're gonna do something different. Every time I come back, I'm gonna see if it changes at all. Oh my gosh, do you know how? Uh, I think Bad Bunny also has Saturn Pisces. Oh really? So he was dating. I barely started collecting like, these other things that they did. Time to grub on some sushi. I'm so hungry. Guys, look at the, we also have Griffin playing. You guys, look at this bathroom. <laughs> I love it. She's taking care of the sushi. Yeah. 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 I did like a little smoky eye moment. Ready! <laughs> also.
outro um and just give my thoughts on the weekend in houston honestly had a really good time visiting my friends 
Um, it was really good to see my friends Alex and Jenny and then also get to spend time with Jenny's boyfriend, Alex's boyfriend, and then Alex's friend Kylie, who I hadn't met before. And it honestly was just really nice to get out of the city. Um, I've been talking about this a lot and I'm going to finally sit down and talk, talk about, you know, these past six months that I've been through um, in a podcast and we're going to kind of dive in and I do feel like this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like that weekend, because it's been a, a couple weekends since I went to Houston, there was a full moon that weekend and I feel like there was a big cycle that completed. I've had a lot of parallels happen um, this year that happened in 2020 and I do feel like a cycle completed, a chapter completed. And then even to what got illuminated from this full moon and also I went to a breathwork class this past Saturday and a lot more things have come through for me and that I've taken action on. So we're going to get into it in the podcast, but I feel like this trip was like a really good reminder of that. And I also hadn't done like a road trip by myself in such a long time. Like I used to do them all the time when I was in my early 20s. And even when I first moved to Austin before I had gotten into um, my relationship with my ex and then, you know, we broke up and then I got into the relationship with Chase. So like, yeah, it had been a while since I did something like that for myself and it can feel really scary because a lot of thoughts come up of like, oh, what if something happens or like whatever, blah, 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 blah. but, um, yeah, it was just really good to get out of the city and Bauhaus was a cool venue, even if, you know, <laughs> the crowd wasn't ideal. And then Excision really liked, you know, the set. Um, it was just really oversold. But otherwise, yeah, it was a really good weekend. And I'm glad I got to spend time with my friends. And, you know, we're just doing more things for ourselves. We're doing things that are uncomfortable. We're chasing new experiences this year. Um, and we're, of course, doing things for the plot. So I don't have any festivals coming up in March. I am taking a little bit of a backseat and just working on myself. I have a couple shows planned in March, um, but yeah, I'm not going to Illfest. I'm not going to Miami Music Week or Ultra. I think I'm actually going to try to do Miami Music Week and Ultra in 2025. Um, I think it's like some anniversary going on, so that feels really good to me. I'm just really feeling into what feels good to me you know what i mean when i see a festival lineup drop if i don't get that immediate full body yes i'm going then i'm not gonna go and i felt that with project glow so i will be at project glow and then i also got that with lightning in a bottle so i'm going to my first lightning in a bottle going to my first glow as well um so i yeah and also seismic dance event light is happening in may which is my birthday weekend which i'm really excited about so that's what we're really working towards and looking forward to so Right now, I'm kind of putting my head down. I'm getting back into content. I'm getting into my business, um, all while still working a nine to five and balancing a social life and working out and doing all the things. And we're just doing the best we can here. So that's what's to come. But yeah, I'm a little nervous about it, but I am going to record a podcast and kind of just like get vulnerable and pour it all out as to what the heck happened these past six months. Because like I said, I do feel like a cycle and chapter is finally completed and I feel like I can't talk about things until I've gotten past it. Um, so even this week I did some kind of like big steps of like protecting my energy, protecting my peace and all of that. So now I'm like, okay, I think it's time we talk about it. So stay tuned for all of that. Um, also, if you're going to Seismic Dance Event Light and you haven't gotten your tickets, you can use code VIBE. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, code VIBE on Seismic Dance Event tickets. I'm going to be filming. I have so many videos to film. We got to talk about EDC lineup. We got to talk about um, why I'm also not going to EDC. We got to talk about Electric Forest and why I'm not going to Electric Forest. Yikes. And then we got to do Project Glow, Lightning in a Bottle, Seismic Dance Event. We have a lot of things to talk about, so stay tuned. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.